Good afternoon to everybody. Uh, we have pending before us, I think, uh, the end of our uh, appropriation cycle of 2024. As a member of the Appropriations Committee, I'm pleased that this weekend we will be passing the last six bills. At least that's my great hope. We're not sure exactly when. I am the ranking com uh, committee member on uh, the Labor H bill, which is the second largest domestic, or it's the, it's the largest domestic spend bill after defense. Uh, we were able to uh, maintain uh, important provisions in that bill uh, that uh, are important to our members, the Hyde Amendment and others. It is a little bit less spending, uh, which is good news as well, and it sets the priorities for the coming year. So I want to thank, uh, particularly on our side, uh, Senator Collins for her leadership, her steadfast leadership to work these bills. She's, uh, she's been a tireless uh, advocate to try to make sure that we didn't end up in co uh, continuing resolutions or omnibus, and, and this week I think she's going to be able to fulfill that promise. Um, I, I would also like to say in terms of the uh, EV mandate that came through or the regulation that ca came through today, I would suggest to all of you, if you've ever been skiing at Snowshoe or at Canaan Valley or at Timberline, don't drive your electric car over there. You may not get there. It's steep. It's cold. But if you do get stuck there, there's some really nice coal miners nearby, and they'll help you push your car up the hill so you can recharge. So the, the fact that the president wants to force us all and, and force this country into a buying pattern of something that a lot of people can't afford, don't want, and don't suit their lifestyle or the, or the directions that they need to drive every day just shows me the arrogance of this administration and uh, how they're willing to use regulation to force people into certain habits that are really counter to their best interests. Thank you.